You cannot, no matter what, separate yourself from this larger dynamic consciousness that we often refer to as all that is. Sometimes human refers to that as soul or source or even God. We refer to that as non-physical energy. We refer to it more specifically as your inner being. But of course, your inner being is always surrounded and co-creating with this larger energy. And so what we are really saying to you is that when we speak of co-creating at its best, we mean the co-creating that you do with one another, certainly. But we mean co-creating at its best because there is an opportunity, a keener opportunity, really, for you to merge with the larger non-physical cadre of consciousness. In other words, oh, you're hanging around with other physical ones. Yes, you are. But you come from non-physical roots and those roots are eternally attached and therefore there is a larger part of you here and now while you're focused in this body who is non-physically focused now the reason that we are starting there today wanting to get you to broaden your awareness is because humans have such a scanty and often completely distorted view of how you in your physical body fit into the whole of all of this we want you by virtue of what you hear as Esther translates our knowing into words that are meaningful we want you to find resonance with a deep knowing that is yours and it is our expectation that as we move forward and as you listen and participate with your own relationship to your own life experience that you will feel a vibrational resonance with that core who is really you and as you find that resonance you will vibrationally move into what we are calling your natural vortex of expansion your vortex of creation your vortex where the larger part of you has already assembled with all aspects of life that you have carved out of all that you have become you stand here in your physical body and you are sifting through life and you cannot help but come to constant unique very personal conclusions about what you prefer at many levels of your being your cells are doing it too every part of the consciousness that makes up the body of you is having a personal exposure to life and coming to new and improved preferences it is just what exposure to life causes so an asking comes forth from you it radiates from you whether you ever put words to it or not if you're feeling confused you ask for clarity because in your perception hear this in your perception that equals your state of confusion there is an equal and proportionate other side of that balance in other words to the degree that you have become immersed enough in your life focused enough that you could even be aware that there is something that you don't understand that there is something that you're feeling confusion about as that problem that we are right now calling confusion is coming into focus within you the solution is coming into focus simultaneously and the solution to your confusion is coming in the identical proportion on the other side of the wave in other words when you know what you don't want you know what you do want if in your focused life your physical body is feeling sick there is a proportionate wellness that is queuing up coming into focus at the same time these words coming into focus are the words that we most want you to pay attention to as we're moving forward because this means every time as you're moving through life and exploring and identifying things that could be better even though you may still be 
focused upon the problem of what's going wrong there is a solution that is coming into focus too. a solution that while you don't have access to it while you're focused on the problem and while you shouldn't have access to it while you're focused on the problem because step one is an important part of the three-step equation for creation step one is asking and it requires some poking around in some problematic places in order for the question to occur in other words there is a question and an answer and they are different vibrational frequencies but they are the byproduct of your exposure to life experience can you hear that when your question comes into focus so does your answer and when your problem comes into focus so does your solution when your illness comes into focus so does your wellness and when your lack of whatever you want comes into focus so does the abundance of it come into focus but the question is where is your vibration are you in a place where you can let the solution the abundance the wellness the clarity the stamina the vitality can you right here right now let it come into focus and the answer to that question is you could if you were not beating the drum of the problem to death in other words there is a tendency that you have picked up along your physical trail to poke around at the problem for an inordinate amount of time and the reason that you do usually we watch Esther even with all that she has heard from us she sometimes pokes at the problem longer because the problem feels like such a problem that it seems like it's worth the effort of defining where it came from and who is the fault of it and if she pokes long enough she can sometimes even come into a somewhat satisfying while problematic point of view of justifying why the problem even exists and what we would like you to realize is that all of that is fine and you really can do no wrong because poking at the problem is poking at a solution the question we just want to put to you is you have to make a decision when it is no longer of value to you to grow the problem and the solution you have to decide has the solution gotten big enough for me now because of my attention to the problem that I'm ready to attempt to orient myself in the direction of the solution or would I like a bigger problem and therefore a bigger solution <laughs> seriously seriously because any way you play it works out great for us you poke around and poke around and poke around it and and improvements come improvements come improvements come and in many cases it is future generation who will benefit from the problems you all are poking around at but you sound like you'd like some of the solutions in your time space reality you sound as if you would like to reap some of the benefit of your creative endeavor and so we're here in what we are calling this law of attraction based universe and a law of attraction based workshop pointing it in the direction of the art of allowing which is what step three of this process is step one is poke around at the problem and step two is the solution is born source is right there shining a light on it and holding it steady for you step three is you got to become a vibrational match to the solution if you are to live it in the way that we know you want to for you most of you out here on this leading edge this fantastic leading edge of creation you like manifestations you're hooked on seeing stuff and smelling stuff and hearing stuff and tasting it and feeling it you like this tactile leading edge creative environment that we are all a part of that you are fantastically immersed in you like this manifestation stuff and while you didn't come necessarily for the manifestation it is necessary to be involved in this leading edge manifesting world in order to really 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 keep up to speed with who life has caused you to become but we want to wrap this whole picture together in a way that you will finally get it that you have come forth not to fix a broken world but to be a catalyst for its never-ending eternal expansion and then we say but you don't need to be focused upon the expansion because the expansion is going to be a byproduct of your exposure to life so then you might ask 
We like it when you do. Well, if I've come forth with great purpose, and my great purpose is not expansion because expansion's going to come whether I know that it's coming or not. I'm just going to blunder into expansion because contrast is just going to suck expansion through me. Then tell me again, why am I important to this mix? And we say, because you wanted the thrill of you getting to focus. You wanted the thrill of you getting to define the details of the expansion. And because you wanted to feel the exhilaration of focusing in a way that the energy that creates worlds flows through you. In other words, you came for the joy of it. You came for the thrill of it. That's what we're all in this eternal experience for. Now there's some very good news that most humans are not very keenly aware of or focused upon or tuned into. And that is that in every moment that you are experiencing life, you are causing an expansion and the larger part of you is expanding. In other words, you cannot look for a moment at something unwanted without an equivalent desire emanating from you in a vibrational pattern. And as it emanates from you, the larger part of you who is vibration, complete vibration, receives the information of request and gives undivided attention then to the prosperity that you are asking for or to the improved bodily conditions that you ask for. Let's take it to a place that you can understand even a little more clearly. This is true of every consciousness and your body is made up of trillions of cells who are made up of consciousness. So as the cells of your body are maybe you ingest something maybe you're exposed to something maybe it's a bacteria maybe it's a fungus maybe it's what you would call a germ maybe it's what you would call a disease maybe it's what you would call a substance that your body is not good at acclimating to maybe you ate something disagreeable you didn't you didn't couldn't tell by reading the label because none of that makes sense anymore you ingested something that your body was not accustomed to and didn't really want and so some cells in your body immediately got out of whack you know what it's like to take a negative hit so some cells in your body got a little out of whack but in the moment of their perception of imbalance they ask for balance in that moment trillions of consciousness within your body asking for improvement in the moment of awareness that something got a little off and in the moment that this happened whether it's a one-celled organism or many cells in communication in your body when that cellular request happened in other words your cells took the balance know what they don't want know what they do want in the moment that that request is set forth the non-physical part of you the energy that creates worlds begins flowing in response to that request and an immediate balance occurs immediate instant manifestation this is happening in your body all day long every day you don't even know how well this factory this vibrationally based consciousness factory called your physical cellular body is coming into balance all day all day all day all day all day all day but then let's say you got something you're mad about or worried about or pushing about. So you've been in this sort of problematic mode for a while where you're really poking around at the problem. Even though solutions are framing up for you and happening. And as you, as the captain of this cellular ship, are focused in this negative way where the predominant emotion within you is one of worry or anger, you cause a vibrational resistance in the communication of this vibrational body that is yours and even though your cells know exactly what they want and need and are asking from a place that they can be answered exactly you're in the way and we call that resistance we call it resistance and you know when you're doing it because negative emotion is present negative emotion is present at first if you keep it up the negative emotion gets stronger if you keep it up you begin to feel physical sensations and if you keep it up longer then your physical body begins to be labeled in in medical terms with all kinds of diagnosis that are nothing more than indications of resistance and resistance is only a problem to you because it prevents communication between who you or part of you we're talking about the cellular part of you has become